Hi, my name is Emily, and I'm an undergraduate at the University of Calgary. And for the past couple summers, I've been involved in the iGEM competition. And so every summer, a lot of our peers at the university ask us, what are you doing for the summer? And we say, well, we're part of the iGEM team. And they're like, well, what's iGEM? And we say, well, we're doing synthetic biology. And they say, well, what's synthetic biology? And then you have to explain it to them. And so we were kind of thinking, well, wouldn't it be cool if our peers could know a little bit more about synthetic biology? And you know what would be really cool? What if they could take courses in synthetic biology? Because in Canada, that's not really something we have. We have a few courses that are offshoots of iGEM projects where people brainstorm ideas about future iGEM projects or they do independent studies to finish up their own iGEM projects, but there's not really any courses on them. And so we were thinking, well, how could we get people doing courses on synthetic biology? Because we have tons of people that are excited about it, but no one seems to want to make courses about it. And so we asked some of our professors, you know, would you consider doing a course on synthetic biology? And we get, well, that would be fun, but you know, time, energy, law, got other stuff to do. And so we thought, well, what if we could make something that would facilitate this? Some kind of tool that would enable people to design courses easier. Synthetic biology is all about standards. So what if we were able to design a type of toolkit that would help people to design their own synthetic biology courses? And we could look to some of the success stories in, for example, the States, where there are courses in synthetic biology that have been quite successful. And some of these have even been published online in papers explaining how they did it. So we were thinking, that would be pretty cool. What if we could make some kind of kit that would include kind of instructions on how to design this and different modules that are important and maybe lab manuals and designed lab protocols and types of things that people could be doing. And maybe this would get people, it would make it easier for them and get it more, them more able to be able to design these type of courses. And if we could see more courses in synthetic biology, then maybe we'd be taking a step towards seeing more programs in synthetic biology, which would be pretty cool. So that's my idea. Thank you.